Today on Toy Shiz, Spawn returns to the toy aisle. Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys. And today, very excited, we're going to be checking out their brand new Spawn universe, the Gunslinger Spawn. The Jeremy Winston 1800s spawn with the hat, right? <laughs> Very interesting packaging on this. I really like the green. It meshes well. It's got that whole necroplasm thing going on. It's from a record-breaking comic. I'm assuming that means from the Spawn comic. And this is for ages 14 and up. It's not a toy. So just keep that in mind. It's not a toy. Wink, wink. Gorgeous artwork all over the box. You can see the gunslinger spawn in great detail. We'll try to do that pose once he's out of the box. In terms of the back of the packaging, it's a little bit leaves you wanting more kind of thing. You do get a nice photo of the gunslinger spawn. You can see it says 22 moving parts, but then you just get this really, I don't know, Wild West backdrop. It, it just doesn't fit, really. I just I don't really care for it, to be honest with you. On the other side of the box, you get a nice photo of the figure going all the way up to the Spawn logo. Here's the barcode if you want to go ahead and screen grab it. These will start hitting store shelves in and around, let's say, the end of August and into September. These no joke, are giant boxes. As you can see, yes, we will be taking a look at the Violator. Humongous packaging. I'm sure they'll have a nice presence on the store shelf. Heavily, heavily reminds me of just back in the day collecting spawn figures, ginormous packaging, all kinds of different packaging because of all the huge figures that they used to put out all the time. But yeah, you can see it's around the same size as a DC Multiverse packaging, but it dwarfs the Marvel Legends type packaging. And before we get started, I'm gonna be 100% honest here. I have collected Spawn figures for years and years. I love the old Spawn figures. These are not the old Spawn figures. I am going to put my old Spawn figures to the side and look at these with fresh eyes. How do they resonate with modern articulation, modern day figures? You can't touch my old figures they are great, I love them. No matter what you do with these ones, even if they're perfect and amazing and awesome, I still love my old figures more. You can't take that from me. But in either case, we're gonna have a great time looking at the new Gunslinger Spawn. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot 1800s cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Spawn Universe toy line, the Gunslinger Spawn by McFarlane Toys. And like all most major action figures, he comes in this nice little plastic tray right there, and he's got this really cool smoky necroplasm backdrop effect, and bingo bango. Yeah, we got one nice looking gunslinger spawn. Not gonna lie. This guy, if you were the person that's been waiting on McFarlane toys to include some spawn figures with articulation, yeah, we've all heard those jokes, right? This will probably be the line for you. If not, I don't know what you want at this point, but you're getting a really heavily articulated gunslinger spawn, complete with rifle. Really nicely done looking rifle right here. I love the skeleton on fire design on the butt of the rifle. That's pretty darn cool right there. It does have some silver to it, it's got really nice design in the sense of, yeah, I would say that looks like a really nicely done rifle. And you got parts where you see the wood and everything else. It also does come with a holster that you can sling around the gunslinger's side. Now, in kind of comparing to what has come before from McFarlane Toys, I would say I'd be very used to seeing buckles and everything else painted, little silver notches, little paint dabs here and there. Overall, this is just a brown piece. It's missing some detail that really does go with the gun itself. As you can see, the gun, very detailed. It's simple, it's minimalistic, but I would have preferred a few extra paint apps just to kind of give it a little bit more life to it, we'll just say. And of course, what gunslinger spawn wouldn't be complete without his two revolvers. Again, nice silver paint, nice deco on it. Love the handles, got little skulls and things. See, that's what I expect from McFarland Toys, doing all kinds of weird, spooky things all over. And as you can see right here, <laughs> 
in true fashion, personalizing his stuff. It says Spawn right there on the gun. So these are done nicely. They look great. Yeah, this one's got the Spawn thing as well. So yeah, they're both the exact same gun. Looking at the figure, we'll start it off with the Spawn stand. They all come with one, but the Gunslinger Spawn himself, yeah, he's pretty darn cool. I gotta give it to him. The hat, the coat, the cape coat. I always think, you know what I mean? Every Spawn has to have a really cool cape but the gunslinger has that really cool duster going on and the detail on this thing is on overdrive which again i do expect from mcfarland toys when dealing with spawn figures i love the way his duster kind of curls and everything else it's very much the folds that you would expect the details all the stitching everything else now the pads right here this is new to me i'm used to just seeing a full-on jacket now it's perhaps something from new new comics you know past the issue 300 which i don't really recognize but you do get a nice blue black looking spawn underneath with the white i love the hat very cool hat it's got skulls all the way around Nice looking face on this guy, really sunken green eyes. I definitely dig that. Up top, I love the spawn capish aesthetic that kind of billowing out on the sides down to his bullets. Now, I'll point this out every single bullet is painted gold, it even wraps around to the backside. So, they went and painted every single bullet, the buckle. The guns slip right into the holsters on the side. Those look great. The holsters are all painted. It's got silver deco all over that. You got those little red pouches that Spawn usually always has. There's silver detail. Not so much on the knife, although there is a face sculpted onto that knife. So that's cool. Again, finding all the little details is fun. You get the silver of his spurs. You get the pointy, stabby parts of his spikes and everything else. I like the boots, the shoes. He's got peg holes on the bottom of his feet. It's a good looking spawn, and he's got great articulation to him. We'll start it off at the head. The hat does not come off, in case anyone was wondering, but you do get that really nice looking down, like he's the man with no name kind of thing. Really nice stature right there. He won't look up too much. It's more so, it's nothing that the coat is doing it's just that's the way it's sculpted on the back of the head for the arms he does not have butterfly joints but his arms work rather nicely you get them all the way up and you have biceps swivel you got the little skulls right there i like that it's all kind of hidden nicely which is nice he's got double jointed elbows and i really like that you can get this pose like he's kind of tipping his hat you know what i mean that's that's cool. That's what I expect. Those are the kind of poses I like to get from a Wild West looking spawn. The ball joints are hidden nicely in his gauntlets. I do dig that. You get some nice ab articulation, upper, and then at the waist, of course. Now, I won't say that he could do like a really good ab crunch to him. You do get a nice amount of movement out of it. You can rotate it top, bottom. So you do get a nice twist at the waist, everything else. These work with you. These are nice, gummy, softer kind of plastic, so if you want to kick the legs out. Now, one thing I'll point out, I thought, you know, with the leg cuts and everything else, they would have put in some thigh articulation, you know, just to kind of hide it right there. He does not have thigh articulation. So, unfortunately, yeah, it won't swivel, but he does have double jointed knees. Just go a little bit easy. I think one thing I'll point out is that for the most part, nothing feels stuck. Nothing feels like it's going to break on you. And then he has some nice hidden ball joints on his feet and toe articulation as well. But I'll tell you all day, because of the ball joints, this guy is kind of a pain from time to time to stand up properly and make use of the stand. You could go ahead and slip this over, hit the top of him, just watch for the giant hat, of course. Slip it underneath his spawn duster cape aesthetics right there, and it fits on him nicely. You can also put the guns in his hands. Now, he only has trigger holding hands, but you do get some nice poses. I do think some extra fists, something like that would have been nice. You can get his hand back like he's reaching for his rifle. And then you can just strike a pose and take photos all day. This guy photographs beautifully. This is a great looking spawn figure. Nice to have a fully articulated gunslinger spawn. If there would have been some extra wash on him just to kind of bring out the old fashioned sort of 90s McFarlane vibe, yes, that would have been amazing. But nothing compares to my old fashioned gunslinger spawn, although I will say, 
This one does come close. When you want to pair him up with the Kickstarter spawn, he will be a little bit taller. This Gunslinger spawn clocks in at 8.5 inches at his top of his hat. So he will tower a little bit over, let's say, the more combat spawn. Just at his head, he's around the 7.5 inch mark. The hat gives him a whole extra inch, right? He's compensating. Wink, wink. Anyways, you could put him with the Marvel Legends Angela. You can see that, yeah, these will fit in for the most part with Marvel Legends, DC Multiverse, sure. It just depends on the character and what you want to do. But in keeping it with the original Spawn toy line, these are actually taller figures than the original. So it does differentiate it in that sense, but I think they can go with the characters for the most part. And no, I did not forget about my old-fashioned gunslinger Spawn. One of my pride and joys from my Spawn collection, giant 12-inch Spawn. They did do the smaller shrunk down 7-inch version of this for the classic covers, but this is the one that I got many, many years ago. I love this thing. It's nice to see the contrast between old and new. Again, you're not going to top this for me. The paint apps on this thing, the stylization... I don't need the articulation. He just looks amazing on the shelf. What a conversation piece. But with a new articulated gunslinger spawn, it is very, very cool. And just for kicks, I thought, yeah, this might work. And it really doesn't. I mean, you could probably finagle him to work for you, but he sits a little bit too high. His duster gets in the way. But, you know, if you read most recent Spawn comics, he kind of rides a motorcycle. Anyways, you know how that goes, right? So that's going to wrap it up for my look at the brand new McFarlane Toys Gunslinger Spawn from their Spawn Universe toy line. And that's how I'm differentiating it. You had the 90s Spawn line. Now the whole thing was Spawn Universe and King Spawn and all the new Spawn number ones coming out and everything else. This is a new era of Spawn. It's what I asked for. I wanted it with the Kickstarter. I was hoping. I'm like, oh, if the Kickstarter does good, we'll get some new action figures out of it. I can honestly tell you that this new Gunslinger spawn is very cool. I'm very happy with it. There are some nitpicks here and there. Oh, I wish it had some more extra paint. I wish it had a wash to him. Yes, those are all great. Would love it. But he doesn't have it. So if you can't handle that kind of thing, this might not be the figure for you. But if you want a really cool... Awesome looking articulated gunslinger 1800s cowboy Smith and Wesson kind of dude. I think you'll definitely like this figure. But I am curious to know what you guys think about this new spawn line. What do you think about the gunslinger? Will you be grabbing him? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything spawn universe. And thank you again to McFarlane Toys for sending these over to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, don't you worry. I got plenty more spawn universe figures to look at. We'll make it spawntacular. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.